Okay, this is going to be a quick test on the different water purification filters I have. I bought them just in case any emergency you might have. I wanted to see which one was the best or which one would work for me. And um, I did a quick test with a TDS monitor I just bought to see what the total dissolved salt solids were in each one. What I have here is the Ecola Blue on the left, that big black one looks like a fridge. Then I got the Berkey. And it's got the um, fluoride filters that I bought extra for to remove fluoride. Then I got the Pro Pure next to it. The, that's another big stainless steel one. Then I got the Seychelles Standard Bottle. That's the Aqua Pail. Then in front of the Aqua Pail we have the Life Straw. Then we have the Sawyer Water Bottle. Then we have another Seychelles with the Advanced Filter in there. And then behind that we have the Lifesaver 2000 Jerry Can. What I did, I just used um, plain water out of my tap and I tested each one for the TDS. And I also uh, wanted to see which ones taste the best because I, I like drinking the um, spring water. The Arrowhead spring water is my favorite, so I wanted to see which one I can get closest to that. <clears throat> so what I'll first start off with is the Berkey, the big stainless steel one on the left. I tested the water on there and it was 526 TDS which I thought was kind of high. I thought it took it all out, but reading about it, it says it takes out the TDS from the tap water, but it adds it. The filters add more to it. And it does, the, that one uh, has the fluoride removal, so it takes fluoride out of the water. It removes viruses and bacteria, but it's not NSF tested. But I, I tried that water, and I did like it. It does taste pretty good. It tastes better than the um, tap water. So that was pretty nice. The next one over there is the Pro Pure, and that had a 480 TDS, a little bit lower than the Berkey. And I, that one has the all-in-one fluoride removal filters. It's got the Pro One G2 filter, and it also removes arsenic, which is pretty cool. And it was NSF tested. And of um, the two, the Pro Pure, I like the Pro Pure just a little bit better than the Berkey. It tastes a little bit nicer. I like that one. So I'm using that one every day for my coffee because it does make the coffee taste better. <clears throat> so below that we have that Seychelles with the normal standard filter on there. And I tr tested that one out. And that was um, a TDS of, what was that? 460. And that one does not remove viruses. I thought it did, but I went on their web page and it does not. It's got the 1-10200PFC-K, which removes bacteria but not viruses, so I was kind of surprised about that. Next to that down there, well, take it back. The water on the Seychelles tasted okay. It wasn't, you know, nothing to write home about, but it was still drinkable. It wasn't fell tasting or anything. Then in front of that one, we have the Life Straw, the little portable one you can put in your top pocket or backpack. And that total TDS was 452. It removes bacteria, but not viruses. And um, viruses, I wanted to say, viruses aren't really that much big of a deal here in North America. But, you know, who knows what happens in the future. You might have viruses in the water, but it's better than nothing, that's for sure. I mean, I tried that, and the water tastes pretty good. Um, I have nothing to complain about. And especially if you're, if you're thirsty, you know, you'll drink it. If you're dying of thirst, you'd definitely be happy to have that. The next one is the Sawyer, the blue bottle there, and that has that one million gallon water filter in it, and it removes bacteria, and its total TDS was 472, which is still, you know, in range with the other ones, and it does not remove viruses. Other people on their videos I went and watched said that it removed viruses, but it doesn't. Uh, on their webpage, it's kind of vague about it when they talk about it, but also, I had to dig on their webpage and I found out that the 0 .02 purifier is the filter that you want. It removes viruses. So if you're going to take that sword to a different country, just remember it doesn't remove viruses. <clears throat> Got to be real careful about that. Okay, then we have the aqua pail, that big white pail with the blue lid on there. <clears throat> it's total TS with 594, which kind of surprised me. I thought it would be a lot lower. like under 100 because it's supposed to purify the water. It kills all bacteria, heavy metals, bacteria, again, like I said, and um, viruses and 
radioactivity. That's what it says it does. I tried that, and uh, the water's okay. You, know, you have to let, you have to um, flush that one quite a bit, though, because <clears throat> the water came out kind of cloudy. But after after a few cupfuls, it cleared up, so it was clear. It was it was okay. It wasn't that bad to drink. And then behind there, we got that big lifesaver. It's called the lifesaver ten thousand, and that is a pretty good um, container. You can just pu put water in that, and pump it up, and it goes through a, a filter. And that one there, the Lifesaver 2000, it's, um, let's see, which one is that? Where is it? It takes out, it w no, it's um, TDS with 454, and that removes viruses, bacteria. It was really um, nice. And that would be good to have in a vehicle if you run anywhere. And the water tastes kind of plasticky, but, you know, it's because the container was still new. But that will remove just about anything. You can use it in murky water, stagnant water, and it's. Um, I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, it comes with the optional spigot that has a carbon um, insert in there, which I don't have, and that's supposed to make the water taste better. And um, it should remove that plasticky taste. But like I said, if you're if you're thirsty and you're you know got nowhere to drink, you'll be happy to have it, plasticky taste or not. And you can always take a, um, a container of iced tea, instant iced tea or Gatorade or something and mix it with the water if you don't really like the taste of the water. That's what I plan on doing. And then we got that Seychelle in the front there on the front right and that has got the advanced filter. And um, that one really surprised the heck out of me. Its total um, dissolved solids was 132 way down. So it it took out a lot of um, the solids and that was good for viruses, bacteria, E. coli, you name it. It's a really good filter and that's going to be my main water filter for my backpack and the water tastes pretty good. I'm really fine. No problem with it at all. Like I said, I was really, really happy with that with that filter and they got another filter that came out. It's called the Extreme Filter. You can replace it and that'll take radioactivity out of there. And I might get one of those for it as a spare. But um, that Seychelles was very impressive. Okay, then on to the left, that's, um, that's my Ecolo Blue atmospheric water generator. And that will make water just out of the humidity from the air. And it's got a, quite a bit of different filters in there. You know, as you can see, it's not going to go in, in a bug out vehicle. But um, if you've got an RV or something, you can put an RV and use it. And um, that one is really good. It takes out... Um, everything, vac b b viruses, bacteria, heavy metals, it's got a reverse osmosis in there, carbon filters, UV lights, and its total TDS was only 46, and 50, 0 to 50 is like pure water, so it's on a little bit of the upper range, but it's still pure water, and it tastes really nice, and um, that is going to go into my um, storeroom, I'm not going to use it until the water runs out around here if it does, but uh, it's going to be a very good emergency backup to have water. You don't have to worry about going out to find water anywhere. And if, like I said, you can put it in an RV. If you have to bug out somewhere or people do that, you can just take it with you anywhere. Just plug it in to a generator or some solar panels and you can make up to 8 gallons a day. The humidity needs to be around 50 degree, 50% 50 or higher to make 8 gallons, but that's, that's pretty good. With that, you don't have to worry about lakes or anything. And it's pretty nice. I'm really happy with it. So that concludes my quick test overview of these different filters. And like I said, the Pro Pure, I'm really happy with the way that water tastes. And it makes my coffee taste really nice in the morning. And the other ones are, they're, they're still good. I mean, if you don't have nowhere to drink water and you need something to filter your water, any one of those will be fine. As long as you don't have viruses in them, you'll be all right. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it did you some good. Good luck. Goodbye.